My name is Jason Kim. I'm the VP of Publisher Operations, and uh, I am responsible for our account management team. A CTU render rate simply is the rate at which an ad is successfully delivered or impressed over the total number of ads that were actually sent back to the stitcher for insertion. So any decent ad server should tell you the, essentially the effect, effectiveness um, of your ads, right? This goes by many different names and different systems, render rates, win rates, sell through rates, fill rates, etc. But not all ad servers provide you with the ability to drill down and isolate where their low render is actually happening. And I'm not talking about just like app information, like app bundle or this device, but it's more like on the creative level, the advertising level, the media file level, and then the final XML that's actually being returned um, to the stitcher. Now that's just half the equation. The ecosystem is so fragmented enough as it is. Um, and generally stitcher tech and ad server tech is generally provided by two different vendors. It's not easy to get a complete picture. Um, unless you're using a technology that offers both a top notch stitching as well as a powerful ad server like publica to truly expose those insights necessary uh, to really inform you of what's happening on the stream level for any given user. So render rates do have a direct and meaningful impact to revenue. By definition, um, ads were ready to deliver, but they couldn't due to some circumstantial or technical reason. These ads are ads that a buyer actively wanted to and were expecting to deliver and pay a premium for. So in the also in the advanced age of you know programmatic bidding and advertising, supply path efficiency or efficacy, right? Um, can and will certainly dictate how budgets flow through those pipes. So uh, since render rate is just a function, it's just an it's just an like a like a equation almost. Um, it's a it's a function of a technology. So it's not necessarily the publisher or the ad buyer. It's just like what is happening today. First and foremost, I would say it's all data centric. So obtain the data, truly understand where you're seeing those gaps, aka trim the fat. Understand your tech stack and the and the, the spec docs for each of the stitchers that you are currently working with or planning to work with, right? That should di dictate how you sell and what is even eligible to enter your auction, right? So you wanna use this data to inform your programmatic strategy. And lastly, uh, to the best of your ability, get as close to the holistic picture um, of both the stream and the ad serving uh, as much as possible and have access to all that data to really monitor. I think for Publica, our goal is to drive yield um, while maintaining user experience. So. Publica's approach will always be, let's maximize those render rates as much as possible. Uh, and the way we do that really is what I explained before, give you all the data that you need down to the creative level, right? So that you understand where there's a gap. We also have a stitcher. So where we control the transcoding process, we know how stitchers work because of our experience in the space. And we pretty much optimize to maximum render rates in any CTV environment um, so that it can lead to maximum yield and you're not leaving money on the table. So there are a whole bunch of them. So I'll just list out some of the common ones that I, I know of. Um, so sometimes there is a layer of mediation. Now what that means is, for example, if you have an ad server A, let's call it, and you return 10 ads to ad server B, but ad server B has a host of direct sponsorship campaigns or any direct sold campaigns and those take priority. Then you'll see a drop in render rates. Another common reason um, or a variable that impacts render rates are timeouts. So when it comes to stitching, it's all about time. You wanna do it fast and quickly and effectively. 
The stitcher may require all ads to be returned within a certain time frame, so it can evaluate which needs to enter the transcoding queue or not, and just validate the responses. Downstream servers then need to take that into account, so their auctions can be run and ads are packaged up in time, and then returns to the stitcher before the stitcher just cuts that off. So each hop has flight times to consider. Uh, another common reason why render rates will are, are impacted are just the responses themselves or the XML that is returned to the stitcher. So the stitcher technology may have some baseline requirements for the responses in general. Um, some some common validation points that you know these stitchers have and these vary from technology to technology are vast templates and vast versions, right? Are, are is it a valid XML or not? Um, they inspect the media file. Is it the correct media file type? Is it an MP4 file? Is it an M3 U8? So they will look at those different MIME types and, and file types to see if it's compatible with their system. Bit rate and quality, quality control of those media files. Um, they're going to expect a certain level of quality to match the content. No one wants to see 4K content in a really grainy ad. So a good stitcher will eliminate that and check for that. And, or it can just come down to a bad ad, right? It could be a creative that was trafficked on the DSP or the agency side that just needs to be addressed. Um, lastly, beaconing. Beaconing is super important because this is what the, the ecosystem goes off of in terms of billing, right? In an ad that gets transcoded and stitched into the stream, um, there are tons of beacons that need to be fired, not just impression beacons, but quartiles, completes, starts, all of those and everything in between. And it's up to the stitcher to fire those. So when the manifest loads and the individual segments of those creatives are, are loading uh, on the clients, uh, those beacons need to be fired. So errors here are less common, but not impossible. Since calculating impressions come down to the successful firing of the beacons, we need to be certain that the stitcher is doing a stellar job of that and not messing up.